The tragic news about multi award winning singer David O losing his first son, Ifanya Adeleke, has become the saddest news of the year. The sad story is unbelievable and bigger than we think, as more details about what actually happened and the cause of the three year old's passing have surfaced. After the accident, Eight of Davido and Chioma's domestic staff who were present in the house when the little boy reportedly drowned at his father's Banana Island home swimming pool were arrested and questioned by the Lagos State Police. However, six out of the eight staff have been released. But the cook and the nanny, whose primary job was to look after the child, drastically failed to do their job. The source who made the revelation further said it was the primary duty of the nanny to take care of baby Ifai justifying how a little boy could have left the house without a knowledge, walked to the back of the building where the swimming pool is and fell into the water without anybody noticing until much later. At the point in time when it was eventually found, he had already drowned and was at the bottom of the swimming pool when it was found. According to shocking reports, the child was underwater for a very long time. From the statement so far, nobody knows how if I got to the pool, either from the main or back door. According to the nanny's report, she said she was with the child before she stepped out to take a phone call but in her defense, she said the cook was there and she assumed the cook was with the child. Moments later, she saw the cook without the child and asked where the child was. The cook thought the child was actually with her, the nanny. They jointly began looking for the child in the big house until the gate man found the child at the bottom of the pool much later. Something isn't right. The pool area in Davido's house is reportedly gated and locked with keys for security reasons. So how did the child smoothly make his way to the pool without any one of the eight persons present in the home at the time noticing? Could there be a deeper story into the actual cause of baby Ifine's death? Did the accident happen in the pool or was it placed in the pool to be found much later? Lagos State Police Command spokesperson told BBC that a staff member at the residence called authorities at 10 pm local time after the incident happened. No one could explain how the boy got into the pool. Davido and Chema were said to have returned from an event to the devastating and heartbreaking news of their baby passing. Even though it was reported as a drowning incident, the police are reviewing CCTV footage of Davido's house to gain more information about the circumstances that led to baby Ifine's death. There are indications that the police might conduct an autopsy to determine whether the child truly died due to drowning in the swimming pool or just a cover-up. However, the police said it was a standard procedure to conduct an autopsy just like any other unclear case. Your smoker is this big one you want to you, you want to go? Eh? Papa. What are you saying? Eh? No worry. I leave you in the hands of this anti job. This one. Oh my god. Don't let him do that again. No! The situation is unfortunate. Davido and Shoma are reportedly devastated and inconsolable. Upon receiving the news of his beloved son's death, Davido ran mad, tore his shirt and wanted to run into the streets. He was held back and stopped from harming himself. The story is heartbreaking and very tragic. We don't know if Davido and Shoma will recover fully from this avoidable accident. Hmm. Could this be an accident or a sad case of negligence? Who should be blamed? The chef or the nanny? Could there be more on how the child actually died other than drowning?
Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.